Aha, so we got the new Raising the White Larvae event. It's already available in Japan, it's coming to Korea, Europe and then US uh, later today or maybe tomorrow whenever that is for you. But I'm gonna review the event, uh, we're gonna do the math for the event, basically how much uh, crystal refreshes, how much total energy you need in order to complete it, as well as I have used a hundred of these white larvae and we'll see what rewards you can get from them. So first of all, for the bingo page, really nothing extraordinary, uh, just like any other bingo page with a little bit different rewards. Uh, for the regular circles, we just have essences, sky stones, XP potions, enhancement stones, really nothing worthwhile as far as spending energy goes. And for each bingo page, you of course get a hundred of these larvae. So uh, this time you only need to use energy. Uh, you can use it anywhere. I have used it in Path of Growth. I used it in Rupture. It works wherever. You can also do the repeat request if you want to stock up on XP potions before the update or something like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, in order to play one uh, time, you need 80 energy spent, which means that for the whole page, you'll need 1280 energy. And for the rewards, here they are. I mean, I really hate to say this, but this might be the worst event we've had ever, potentially, right? Uh, as far as rewards go, at least. So, Breath of Lives, uh, what are these powerful magic ores? We got a few scrolls. This, I mean, you, we get that from like a single login now, right? Uh, 30 potions, a devil mon, 10 Breath of Souls, 10 mystical scrolls, a title. Okay, th this might just be the best reward of it. That scroll just Lyra. <laughs> like, by far the best reward. Uh, more defined stones, a hundred legendary magic ores, 15 mystical scrolls, a single light and dark scroll. Wow, a single legendary scroll and a devil man. That's it. That's it. The good part is that it's at least easier to complete because you only need eight bingo boards cleared. The bad part is that the rewards are, well, shit. <laughs> So for the mod itself, here you can see the free stuff you get. Uh, most of the stuff is the same, I will only address the last two. So first of all, usually we get 120 uh, energy daily from the like daily login megaphone event. Uh, but until it's released on the 25th, uh, we have double that. So uh, we get 240 energy every day and that will be a total of 3360 uh, during the event during the duration of the event and uh, in the total I'm of course not including the guild energy because not everyone has a maxed out tower but uh, you can add from 280 up to 840 based on the level of your guild tower right basically take whatever energy you are able to get now multiply it by 14 and add it to the total amount but for the free total amount in 14 days you will be able to get 8722 energies and in total to complete the whole event you will need 10240 this means that if we subtract the free energy we get uh, you'll need only 1518 of it from refreshes now luckily since that's not a lot of refreshes all you'll need to do is pretty much two refreshes a day First of all, the 100 crystal one, and not even for all of the days, are 200 crystal ones. So, uh, you'll need to do the 100 crystal refresh every day, and uh, the 200 crystal refresh 12 times within the 14 day period. So, you can miss two of the refreshes and still complete the event. And in total, just for the refreshes, that will only cost 3,800 crystals, and that's not even counting the uh, daily guild tower energy that you can get if you have a maxed out one you add that 840 and that basically total crystal price drops down to 1200 so as far as completing the event super super cheap and now for the fishing item itself so here's the description that we have uh, a white larva that was raised in florence it is used as prime fishing bait and with it, you will mostly catch calm mackerel, swallowtail, dart, and crabs, and very occasionally you might get their items. So I have used a hundred of these, and here's what I got in total. I've used them in the guild town, because I feel like guild town is like the most versatile place to use them. 
And yeah, uh, here's the reward. So four of these mystical uh, scroll boxes. These are just the ones that you get from guild equates, field events, all of that. Really, you're mostly just gonna get a single mystical scroll piece or like one unknown scroll. So eh, doesn't matter. This item seems like the same as the previous event. They haven't changed much. Uh, it's worth like 300k gold. So uh, previously it was like one every 100 fishings you would get this premium item. It was the same the whole time. So I can only guess that it might be the same this time as well. So you're looking at around like 300k gold for every bingo board cleared, which is eh, nothing. Uh, for the three uh, fishes that were mentioned in the description, I think this is like the Cole Macarel, a uh, Crab, and the Swallowtail Dart. Looks like in total, uh, what is that, 16, 35, 57, like good 60% of the catches will be those, and the rest of the fish are just a regular fish from uh, the Guild Town. So, yeah, nothing special, but uh, this one, uh, the Cole Macarel, is an field event only drop so if you need it for anything i think one of the transformations even needs these uh it's a good way to stock up on those but yeah apart from that the rewards nothing special overall the event is just quite disappointing especially compared to uh, most other events we've had especially monster events but yeah that's about it and peace